right now, uh, it's a buyer's market for talent, without a doubt. Uh, anybody who has a job is pretty happy about it and is probably not going to rock the boat. But as you look into the future, uh, I think the, the, the work environment is going to have to change radically in many of the organizations around the world that, I, that I'm acquainted with. You know, I'm a business school professor. I get to uh, interact with a lot of MBAs. And as I say right now, they're mostly happy to have any job at all. But in their hearts, most of them do not want to work any longer for big and bureaucratic organizations. They want to work for companies that, that mirror or that honor the values of the web, that are open, that are meritocratic, that are transparent, that are collaborative, where there's a lot of freedom. And if you think about this, this Facebook generation, if you like, this generation that grew up on the web, this is profoundly changing and shaping the attitudes they have about work. You know, what, what are some of the, the kind of signal things that you learn when, when you live your life on the web? And, and let's be clear, for this next generation, the web is not a tool. It's, it's not something that's kind of out there that you use occasionally. The web is the operating system for their lives. And so, so the values of the web have infused their thinking. You know, on the web, if you upload something to YouTube or you write a blog or post a photo up on Flickr, nobody asks you whether you went to film school or journalism school. They just look at your contribution and said, was it funny, was it beautiful, was it incisive, and so on. But you are very much evaluated on your contribution, not on your credentials. Likewise, on the web, every idea competes on an equal footing. You'll remember the old uh, cartoon uh, a few years back, New Yorker magazine, has the dog in front of the computer screen, and the caption read, on the, on the internet, nobody knows you're a dog. Well, on the internet, nobody knows you're a senior vice president either, and they don't care. What matters is your contribution, not your credentials. Another kind of fundamental ethos of the web is that all the leaders who emerge on, in the online world, these are leaders who aren't appointed by somebody. These are leaders who emerge bottom up by virtue of their service to the community. You look at uh, any open source project, you'll find people have more influence in, in shaping uh, the evolution of the pro project. Uh, within the blogosphere, some blogs get higher authority ratings than others based on how many people link to them or how many times you know, somebody has uh, kind of given them thumbs up, thumbs down. Within any, within any online forum, there are people who have more influence, their views carry more weight. But all of these kind of natural leaders, they emerged uh, not from some formal appointment process. They emerged because people recognized their expertise, recognized the value they were adding, the service they were providing to that community. So think about what, what is that going to mean when this group of people, the Facebook generation, comes to work? How likely is it that they are going to want to work in organizations that don't reflect the social values that they've grown up in on the web? And I think the answer is not very likely at all. So I think a challenge for every organization today, if, if you think about the, the machinery of management we've been using for the last 100 years, the way we plan, structure, organize, allocate, hire, motivate, all of those things, we're going to have to, to kind of infuse the musty machinery of management with the new values that we find online. The values, as I said, of collaboration and freedom and transparency and meritocracy and so on. And any company that doesn't do that, there's not a chance five years from now you're going to be able to hire the best and the brightest talent from around the world. Right now, you may think it's a buyer's market. It's not going to be that way forever. And the companies that win are going to be the companies that get that and start bringing those values to bear inside of their management processes today.